Hey, you all, and good morning. It is day five of our Dixie Highway road trip. We are currently in Saginaw, Michigan, and we're going to continue going around the state of Michigan on the Dixie Highway. Currently, I'm waiting for my car to dethaw. Got the heat cranked. Um, look at the view out my windshield. There's a very, very icy uh, view. There's a nice icy coating all over my car. But uh, yeah, I wanted to thank all of you for uh, the positive support and good feedback that I've gotten on this uh, Dixie Highway road trip series. Um, just big thank you to all you who are watching. Do me a favor though, if, if you are watching, please subscribe and, uh, and continue to watch um, videos on this channel um, it helps me out and you know if you're if you're newer here I have years worth of old videos older videos they're not old and stinky but older videos on this channel um, I have been traveling the United States for several years I've been to all 48 states all sorts of fun roadside attractions amusement parks museums and other fun stuff uh, so check that out uh, if you'd like to help support the channel further um, if you subscribe to Patreon, a $3 or more donation a month will get you a postcard once a month. And also we are selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. All that helps keep this train on the track, this boat on the water, and this dirigible in the air. But without further ado, let's hit that Dixie Highway. Looking in the window at this family video, it appears that this this location has been closed. I am again shocked. I guess the the family video line um, that how many of them are still open. Um, and I'd, I'd like to hear from you guys. Leave a comment in the comment section if you know about um, any video stores that are still open. Here we have Putz's Hardware Store. Another beautiful vintage uh, theater. It's a very interesting Native American head there on the top. It's actually another vintage theater. And you can see on the marquee it says, tough times don't last, tough people do. Notice through Michigan you see these um, places labeled as party stores. I guess they sell liquor, beer, cigarettes. You know, stuff you need for parties. Don't know if they sell like balloons and streamers though. I believe this may be the most disturbing um, slogan for a restaurant. It is uh, Sporty's Wing Shack, and then they have a chicken on the sign that says, it's not cannibalism if it's deep fried. Look at this guy here, he's worried. He's worried he's about to get eaten. Here we are outside of Deer Acres. This looks like this may be a, um, I don't know, if I had to guess, maybe a roadside zoo, some sort of roadside attraction. On the sign there, it says still renovating. Looks like it's been closed a while. But uh, so there's toy soldiers out here 
and then that green castle back there. Yeah. This is yeah, Deer Acres Fun Park. Here atop of Wilson's Cheese Shop is this wonderful mouse eating a wedge of cheese. According to this sign, it says this is Michigan's oldest, I guess oldest cheese shop. This is 1939. And, uh, I guess they also sell beer and wine. You see from the little drunk mouse right there. For here they have a second giant mouse. You can see this one's on a trailer. So I guess this is the traveling mouse. That's the mouse that just kind of stays on top of the shop. And then if they need to show up with the mouse, they have them on a trailer here. And I'm gonna leave some coaster postcards here under the big mouse here at Wilson's Cheese Shop in Peconing, Michigan. The ones that I left at Jungle Gyms got a little soggy apparently. So I'm gonna leave them under here so they stay dry. The further I get north, the snowier and snowier things are. And I guess that um, shouldn't be any sort of real surprise. Although Christmas has passed, it's still heartwarming to see Santa Claus. Also have a massive uh, snowman here in the center of town. Currently passing through the town of Omer, Michigan. I guess their claim to fame is they are the smallest town in uh, Michigan, and and uh, so far, yeah, I think this this may be the smallest town uh, that I, that I've driven through. Not ever, but you know, in Michigan. Hamburg's ice cream. Now, was this an ice cream shop owned by a man named Hamburg, or did they did they misspell hamburgers? Stopped off here in Taos City, Michigan, on the shores of the mighty Lake Huron. I actually have a park here with all these cool fiberglass animals. Check out this, check out this hippopotamus right here that is a that is one happy hippo and look little kids can just crawl right into his gullet let's see they crawl into the hippo's mouth and then they can come out here come out here and climb out. Climb. come on it's a, it's the hippo's butt hey, let's 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 face facts that reminds me What's that, that scene in uh, Ace Ventura? <laughs> little tiny brontosaurus slide there. Happy little fish here. Now, there's a horse there. That kind of, you know what that looks like? That reminds me of Pokey from Gumby. It's a buffalo slide and an elephant slide. There's a lot of slides in this park. Little kangaroo there, you can climb inside if you're really small and poke your head out through the pouch. Just don't get your head stuck. I don't want to show you guys. Look how small these stairs are. Look at how small those stairs are compared to my feet. It's almost as if they were meant for very small children. Yeah, check out the ice down here. All these broken pieces of ice accumulating at this end of the lake. Look at this happy little fish here. Wearing a hat. Marion's ice cream here. This little boy holding an ice cream cone aloft.
We've stopped off in Oscoda, Michigan. And here in the park, they have this wonderful Paul Bunyan statue. According to this, uh, they have a Paul Bunyan festival in September. That'd be really cool to check out at some point. All right, so I guess the, the, the story here is in Oscata, Michigan, they claim that they have the, the their newspaper printed the first ever Paul Bunyan story. It was kind of a verbal tradition passed down uh, by lumberjacks, and uh, apparently the first time it was actually put in writing was in 1906 here in Oscata, Michigan. It's a somewhat random dragon over there off the side of the road. And there we got a little Easter Island head. Very interesting geodesic ice cream stand there. And look at this, over here in Osaneki, Michigan, we have another Paul Bunyan. Now this Paul Bunyan was built in the 1940s, and it's over 22 feet tall. Look at his, uh, look at his very ample uh, chest hair there. And here we have Paul's faithful companion, Babe the Ox. It's actually a big hole in Paul's back. Wonder what that's for. They're so proud of Paul here that they have a picture of him on Town Hall. Check out that elephant right there. Maybe that's a woolly mammoth. I'm not quite sure. There's actually a dinosaur park here. Unfortunately, it is closed for the winter. So you can see the gates to enter right there. There's more than just dinosaurs here. Check out this giant statue of Jesus. And look at that. He's got the whole world in his hands. It says the Statue of Christ was built by Paul Domke in 1957. I believe Paul Domke also built that uh, Paul Bunyan that we saw a moment ago. And uh, what's it say here? His belief was that the seven days that God created the world lasted several million years, a period during which dinosaurs evolved. It says, Domke's devout faith is further demonstrated by his painting of Christ in the heart of the Brontosaurus, signifying once again that Christ is the heart of the universe. So yeah, you can see the Brontosaurus from here. Apparently, you climb up that stairs inside the Brontosaurus and you will find Jesus. The sign says this exhibit is the finest in the world. To preserve it, follow these rules. Look at that little cat right there. Look at this howling wolf here. Pretty vicious looking. right here. We're crossing the 45th parallel, meaning we are halfway between the equator and the North Pole. Huh, pretty interesting. Appears to be some sort of politically charged parade of people going by. See a lot of 
American flags, a couple Donald Trump flags. I wonder, wonder where these people are uh, headed to. Here in Alfina, Michigan, we have yet another homage to America's favorite lumberjack, Paul Bunyan. You can see this is a, a more abstract interpretation of uh, Mr. Bunyan than most of the others we have seen. Apparently this one is nicknamed Kaiser Paul. Look up and see. Very interesting Bunyan indeed. Now this is the Besser Museum. I literally know nothing about it, but um, I always find that you can find some very interesting things when you stop at you know, these smaller, more local museums. So let's uh, let's check it out. And it's got to be good when it has this big, crazy eagle head out front. Looks like we have a giant pendulum there that hangs down into the bottom floor. Looks like we have a Christmas tree display throughout the museum. Looks like the trees have different themes. So we can enjoy these Christmas trees as we're perusing these arrowheads. And um, looks like this uh, Native American wearing some sort of ice crown. Oh, I almost didn't notice that badger sticking out underneath the canoe. Entering the taxidermy section here. Check out that little baby bear. And uh, oh, that is a mean bear right there. Look, he's he's snarling. And luckily they have the gray wolf encased in this glass, so he can't uh, rip our faces off. I'm just kidding. I know, I know I know he's not really alive. Here we have two little raccoons. The baby there is playing with a shoe. Bunch of different skulls there. Oh, look at that black bear skull. Guns, 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 guns. Some unique poses here for the taxidermy. This bobcat in a very lazy position. It kind of stretches out, takes a nap. There's a fox licking his leg. And, uh, a porcupine hanging in a tree. Chaos reigns, little buddy. There's two little coyote pups wrestling with each other. Here we got a bird box. And here it is, the ultimate showdown. Fox versus mink. Here's one of Michigan's most favorite animals. The dreaded wolverine. Sneaky little fox. There's a otter itching his itchy nose. Here are some very tiny baby bears. I have never seen um, bears this small. These are black bears, about the size of a puppy. And um, apparently it's kind of a sad story. It says that some hunters chased the mother away from her den and um, these two babies were found dead there. But it turned out that the hunters had actually kidnapped a third baby and the baby was recovered sent to oregon for rehabilitation and um, now is a grown 400 pound black bear this is probably the largest most extensive collection of pine cones i've ever seen oh that is a big pine cone that pine cone is as big as a pine apple look, look at that that's that's ridiculous Okay, so here's the pendulum, and um, what it was explaining is that I guess the pendulum swings completely freely, and then um, they put up these golf tees around the, the circle here, and uh, the pendulum will slowly knock over all of these uh, golf tees, and apparently it is because of the rotation of the earth so whatever mechanism it's hanging from is independent of the Earth's rotation. So um, I guess in, in your face, Flat Earthers. Here's a grown black bear there. 
And this is not a black bear. I'm not sure what type of bear that is. That is a baby porcupine. That is also ridiculously cute. I need to get my own baby porcupine. The big old crow right there. And then this is a fisher. And I do like how we did this taxidermy. I like how instead of like being in a static position, they're in these like playful um, orientations. Here we have a fish wall. So I see it's a needle nose gar. Ooh, there's a sunken ship right there. And then this salmon is uh, devouring that poor little fish. I caught you a delicious bass. You have a deadly piranha on the wall. And then a collection of boat motors. You know, it kind of surprises me how many exhibits on boat motors I've come across in my travels. Caca, caca. There's Big Bird there, and it looks like he had decided to eat a little bird. Now here's a very Michigan event that I stumbled upon here in front of the CW restaurant. They're having a snowmobile show. Some very cool vintage snowmobiles. The Sad Sacker. You have the Pink Panther snowmobile there. This snowmobile has like a fake snowmobile that it drags behind it. It's very cool. Different designs. Snowmobiles. Reminds me of that Warren Zevon song. Small amusement park here off the side of the road, but it is closed for the winter. Looks like they have their Gravitron all wrapped up and winterized. Check this out, this lake here, completely frozen. And uh, if you look out there, some ice fishermen camping out on the ice. Seems like a bad idea, but if that many people are doing it, must be a good idea. They're walking out on to this lake. Oh my gosh, it's like watery and slushy. I This is making me very uncomfortable. You can see there's actually tracks where they drove vehicles out there. to stop a moment to appreciate the beach here. This is Lake Huron and you can just see there how clear the water is. You can pretty much see to the bottom. It's never that good skipping stones. Plop. I don't want to pass judgment or anything, but uh, I don't know if the Yak is a great name for a restaurant. We are in Mackinac City, Michigan. And over here, we have the Mackinac Bridge. That is the bridge that connects 
the lower part of Michigan with the upper peninsula. There is the Dixie Saloon, most likely named after the Dixie Highway, but probably is the uh, one of the furthest north northern businesses to uh, use the name Dixie. Love that giant hot dog on top of that stand there. And that restaurant is actually called Wienerlicious. Here's Mystery Town USA, which was actually an amazing attraction. Uh, I don't know if it is ever going to be open again. Um, I know that it had closed down suddenly, then suddenly reopened. And I don't know if it'll uh, if it'll be open next season or not. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So we have reached the northern prefaces of our trip. We are the farthest point north here in Mackinac City. We are the furthest from Miami that we will be during this trip. So uh, now it is time to head back down the other side of Michigan into the sunny, sunny south. Here at this uh, hotel, which is seemingly abandoned, notice that they had uh, some of these things right here. I don't know what they're called, but I loved them as a child. The, the, you'd ride on the backs of these. That one, I think that is a raccoon. And then here, I think that's maybe a little skunk and a yellow shirt. Now the sun is set, but we're still traveling along that long, lonesome highway. We are stopped in Charlevoix, Michigan, at the world's largest cherry pie. Now one of the coolest things about this is this was actually a pie that was actually baked in 1976. They actually use this was actually the oven they, they cooked the pie in, and that is the real tin that was used to bake the pie. So this pie was cooked in this oven, a Medusa made oven, and they actually cooked the largest cherry pie in the world. And then they still have the oven and the pie pan to show for it. So here I'm signing off from the world's largest cherry pie. Uh, thank you guys for joining me on this journey. Um, tomorrow, we'll start fresh. We're still in Michigan. We're gonna head right. I get into Indiana uh, by tomorrow. But uh, again, thank you. If you'd like to help contribute to the channel, consider donating to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also, selling enamel pins at the Etsy shop. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Helps me out. Lets you know when a new video is uh, is on its way. And uh, yeah, go back through my channel. Look at look at some of the old videos. I've been traveling for several years, been to all 48 states, all sorts of interesting roadside attractions, museums, haunted houses, other fun stuff. Uh, but appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, this one's in the bag.